Welcome, welcome. This is the entertainment answer. Little Hands says it's time to rock and roll. Dedicated to helping you decide what to spend your hard-earned money on at the box office. Looking for the latest DVD and Blu-ray releases? We have the answer for that, too. It'll be our little secret. You know, it's exciting. Want something fun and untucked? I feel like I should say something smart. Welcome to the entertainment answer. You be kind. Oh, sweetheart, we're taking off. And welcome back. We are the entertainment answer, and we have an excellent show for you today. It is Rogue One Day. We're going to talk about Ooh. Star Wars. I'm Brian Kluger. And uh, it is, it is, this is like our, it's our last episode of the year because we're celebrating Christmas. Rogue One's coming out. Dog cats living together. It's going to be awesome. Sitting across from me in an amazing tie and denim outfit. It's Matt denim Mungle. vest. <laughs> Matt Mungle. You know what? I wear this all the time. Y'all never talk about it being so denim-y. Why is it? Is it because I usually have something over it? It's like an accessory. Do you always wear denim? Because I've never seen you wear that no, shirt. I've I seen wear this shirt jeans. all the time. Well, you wear it with like khakis well, or something. Well, not all the time. I'll wear it with this if I wear a... a some lighter colored sweater. You've worn the VW Bug button-down shirt more than I've seen you wear that. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. All right. Seriously, it's embarrassing. This is our big. This is our big segment. Rogue One trivia with Dave Curley because Dave, you Rogue say Rogue One trivia, Star Wars, trivia. Star Wars trivia, yeah, come Rogue on, One you? trivia, no, Star Wars <laughs> no, trivia. We're gonna ask you questions about, about Rogue One that you Rogue haven't one. seen. Uh, you say you're a Star Wars master. We've got some questions lined up from did our I? audience. Thank you, audience. Did I say I was a Star Wars master? No, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> you you did, but uh, thanks to our audience yeah. uh, right now who have uh, given us some questions to ask, and Matt and I have some questions right now. Um, Which Brian thought his were hard. Yeah, I I heard about that. No, they were good questions, Brian. Don't no. feel bad. They were good questions. Uh, Carrie uh, Fisher. Yeah. All right. Moisture farmer. Moisture farmer. <laughs> right. All right. Tatooine. So who goes first? I'll, I'll ask my I'll All ask right. a question All first. Right. What game was Han Solo playing when he won the Millennium Falcon from Lando Calrissian? It's called Sabic. All right. I'm uh, I'm done. <laughs> that was his hard one. Yeah, that's the hard one, huh? And I know he's like, how do you know these things? I'm like, if that's the hardest thing you have for Curly, you should just actually actually you should know the rules of Sabic. All right, yeah, you got something? Mine were a little harder because I know, um, I just know that if I don't know it, you probably know it. And right, if I know it, you definitely know it. Well, let's try it. All right, Greedo. Yes, who they say did or didn't shoot first? Right, he's a Rodian. <laughs> Next question. Actually, <laughs> Next question. Greedo Greedo was played by a woman. Now I just wanted to know what species he was. You answered that before I could even all right, ask. All right, I've got one from Devin Pike. Okay. All right. Um, how many people did Darth Vader force choke in the original trilogy? In the original trilogy? Yes. Force choke? Yes. Let's see. To death or just in general? Because the, there, that could we'll, go either way. Well, well, we'll say we'll say in general, right? Yeah. So he force choked. <laughs> you have a time limit. No, no. I want to say. I want to say. Six I want to say three. He, it, it is. It's correct. Yeah. He force choked. Uh, what's his What's his face? Um, at the at the conference table, he force choked Admiral Mahdi. Admiral Mahdi, and then uh, Admiral the, Alzel. Yeah, the one. Yeah, from the he did it. He did it over the intercom. Yes. Yeah. So, and and Captain, just the guys looking at him like, oh, I don't wow, want this you job. Got that. Yeah. I don't crazy. want this. the look on the other guy's face is just is just. I know. Excellent. He's just sitting back there going, God, do not want to screw this up. Don't let me Don't screw this up. Don't call me Admiral. Don't call right. me Admiral. Shoot. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's see. Uh, General Grievous. We're going to go back to General the, Grievous, the right? second trilogy. Mm -hmm. Has a peculiar cough, even yes. though he's a droid. Right. How come he has the cough? He has the cough. Uh, it's basically a memory. It's because he uh, he was taken. Uh, he was dying. Um, his body was whatever was able to be used was gathered up and put into this exoskeleton. So in his little gut sack, he's got like a heart and a, a lung oh and a couple God. other things. And the coughing is a echo, uh, an, an, an echo. It's like a it's like a phantom oh. limb. This is amazing. All right, that's I got better one. than my answer. I've got one. What was your answer? His chest got crushed by Mace Windu. That's, I guess that's when he did all the. That's what caused him to be, to be put back together. And it, okay. All well, right, your answer is probably better. <laughs> what is the name of the band in New Hope that plays at the Cantina? Are you ready? I am ready. It is Freegrin Dan and the Modal Nodes. Oh my God! <laughs> I told you, dude. Do we have another one online. We do. We do. Well, um, this one comes from our okay. friend Jonathan Michael Atterbury. Okay. Um, it is. 
What is the name and significance of the red stripe on Han Solo's pants? Uh, it's called a Corellian blood stripe, and oh. it is a rank. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Uh. All right. Who is squashed by an imperial, imperial walker while dead in the snow speeder that Luke barely escaped from? Dak. Yeah. Dak in the back. What is Wedge Antilles you, call hang sign? On, hang on, hang on one sec. Do you know? Do you know why? No. <laughs> He's teaching us. Do you know why Han Solo is wearing that? No. And do you know? Han Solo was like in the Imperial Academy, mm -hmm. and was um, you know working his way through or whatever, and got thrown out because he rescued a Wookiee that was being beaten and stuff with a bunch of other Wookiees. That were slaves. Wow. Yes. Impressed. Yes. Okay, now you were asking? What is Wedge Antilles call sign? Ooh. Hang on. Wedge is one of my favorite characters. We'll see. <laughs> this is so easy. Um Rogue Three? No. We rogue. stumped him. Oh. Rogue Seven. I stumped him. <laughs> you are giving me grief it's, about coming up with easy questions, and I stumped him. Or it. rabbit red, red well, three. Yeah, it's not oh. rogue three, but red, red three or red seven. Red two. Red two. Okay, oh, that's cool. There we go. So, I've got, I've got another one online. Please, yeah. Jump, uh, yeah. This one comes from Jeremy Clay Maggart. Name of the bounty hunter Leia was impersonating in Jedi. Boosh. Yeah. B o u c h e or s s c h e. My goodness. Yes. You don't have to spell. So uh, what's, what's Vader's flagship, uh, the Super Star Destroyer? What's his call sign? Mm, it's an executor class. That's what it is. So executor. it's the, the executor. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is this is insane. What does ATAT stand for? The ATAT. ATAT. Mm -hmm. The at at walkers. all all terrain attack transport something like that. Almost. Should we give it to him? Yeah. It's Armor like, transport? Armor okay. transport, yeah. And All then right. ATST, scout transport. All right. Um, I have more. Please. <laughs> this this <laughs> isn't even painful. I'm, I'm waiting All for right. something. What was unique about the Christmas 1977 Star Wars action figure line? This is from Devin Pike. Oh. What was unique about the Christmas what 1977 year? Star Wars action figure you line? Well, the action figure line consisted of... Vaporware. There was no action figure line. Oh my god! That's dude. the thing. What they sold. What they sold was <laughs> was a piece of cardboard with an image of the line, and then you would go with a proof of purchase and redeem it. All right, he's got this right. Oh my god, he's got this right. But it was, sub question, bonus question. It was brilliant. They were pre-selling toys. Name all of the figures in the empty box campaign. The Ooh. empty box campaign. The it's going to be the original line. So you're looking at. Um, you're looking at Leia. You're looking at Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, um, Vader, Obi Wan, and the two droids. All right. I mean, he, <laughs> and I, I think, I think, Chewba Devin, I think Luke, Chewbacca, Leia, in, Chewbacca, and R two only. But no, the the line no, was the 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 I, box. I, I can I, swear I, the box was like all seven. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue with the man about anything Star Wars. I, I think, yeah. All right. Well, now you since you stumbled over what we would have considered an easy one. Oh, we'll, have, we'll have to. We'll have Which to come one was back. An easy no, one? we're not coming back. Well, we Why we gotta take a break? Or something? We gotta take a break right Why? now. You because sure? We're, yeah, we're sure. We're wow. sure. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back All with right, more cool. questions. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Attacking Luke Skywalker's rebel base. Can Luke in his snowspeeder halt the Imperial Walker? Okay, Luke, here we go. Steady. Now, we got it! Will the rebels survive? Only you can decide with Star Wars toys. So if we've learned anything at the entertainment answer here today is that Dave Curley has all the answers, anything related to Star Wars. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> He's I'm trying. doing yes. so well because Rogue One, of course, is coming out this weekend for the holiday season. And we wanted to test. Curley comes in here every week saying like he knows the most about Star Wars. And he's kind of proved us 
wrong <laughs> or right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're, we're a couple more questions, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna rank the Star Wars movies from best to worst. All right. I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to maybe go easy to kind of like fool you for one instead of going really hard. Okay. What is the Moss Eisley docking bay that Millennium Falcon departs from? Ninety four. Ninety four. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he looks so defeated. Yeah. In what, that. Species, what species is Darth Maul? Darth Maul is a Zabarak or something. I'm done, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. done. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. done. All right, the, <laughs> there's nothing on my list that could even. Well, come on, come on. The, the, the last question from Devin Pike. <clears throat> um, All right. In what unique way do Tusken Raiders, the Sand People, yes. ride Banthas? Oh, I know that one. And I'm. Yeah. In what unique way? Yes. See, that's another one of the easy ones if you don't overthink it. And what unique? I mean, they ride them like they're uh, like like an elephant, you know, s- sitting up on top. Well, of like them. like uh, I mean, like side saddle. No, no, I mean, I mean um, it, how do they travel? Yeah, on banthas. And you and could, on you foot. could actually quote Ben in your answer. <laughs> oh, they ride in single file <laughs> to hide their to numbers. Hide their numbers. <laughs> <laughs> that if that okay, that's the thing. I, I was like, how, thinking it's that. like how do you how do you they ride, ride it like an elephant? <laughs> I don't know. You get up on top of it and try oh not to break my your back. Goodness. All right, last one. Last, All right, one. last All right, one. Here we go. Mara Jade is Mara the Mara Jade. Yes. <laughs> she's the emperor's. Am I even asking this anymore? Yeah, so done. She's the emperor's. Done. Hand. No, what's the Mara Jade question? Because that's an extended. Was, I was going to ask what it was. It was the emperor's what? She's she, the emperor's hand. Yeah, yes. she was his personal assassin. Hmm. Dude, there's so many <laughs> jokes you could do with that. <laughs> All right, here, here, here's well, a, here's, here's a, here's something a, about Mara Jade. Not only did she work for the Emperor, but she ended up working for Talon Card, and then spent a lot of time with Lando before eventually hooking up with Luke. All right, I have I have one one question that's <laughs> indirectly related to Star Wars to see if he knows. All right, all right. So who directed the uh, or who made the original film? Who's responsible for Star Wars? George Lucas, right? Sure. What movie did George Lucas have a cameo role in, acting wise, with Eddie Murphy? Uh, with Eddie Murphy? Would, I mean, would it be like Forty Eight Hours or something like that? Is that I your answer? No I have no idea. Yeah, I had a cam- what? He was just seen somewhere in there? No, he had like he was on screen and had a couple lines with Eddie Murphy. I know one of the Beverly Hills Cop movies. Then. That's it. Yeah, Beverly Hills Cop three, George Lucas in it. Wow. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah. part three, the worst one. Interesting. But yeah, <laughs> you did well. I think red. Well, I mean, you well, should we get I, a I red think, too? I think Wells red statement. <laughs> when, when he can he answer not, the qu- was... when he can answer the question before I even get it out, that's kind of using the force <laughs> yeah, a little I bit. Was... <laughs> with the with the one on wedge, I was like going through you know the call signs when they're when they're everybody's forming yeah. up and stuff, and I was like, yeah. What was Porkins' call sign, or was it Porkins? It was Porkins. Yeah, okay. Porkins was his, that poor was his man. name, <laughs> but he was like you know red three or something like red three standing by. You know what he makes for lunch? Pork sandwiches, Porkins pork. beans, pork. <laughs> pork. Ah! I think pork rinds. All right, uh, a lot of people like to. Uh, rank their Star Wars movies, so why should we be any different? Um, let's start with Curly, since he's the master of Star Wars. How do you rank uh, the like the canon films, like the the episodes? Yeah, we'll do the the six plus Force what Sure, Force okay. So out of the three, my number one first. Is that what we're going for? No, just, just, like or, episodes one through or one through seven. How do you rank them, best to worst? Best to best worst. worst. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tudball. <laughs> um, at best, I, I think best story to we're being invaded. He's coming in here. Look at. Yes, I need to read a number. <laughs> <laughs> Paying attention to the man behind the badge. <laughs> That's we're great. talking Star Wars. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and he's, he's <laughs> we're being invaded. <laughs> no, that's cool. Awesome. Live radio, folks. Um, okay, so I think, <laughs> I think out of the original trilogy, I want to say the best movie, period, is Empire Strikes Back. That is the richest story, and it leaves you hanging and hurt. Okay. So from there down, what's, well, then what's your worst? Um, Least favorite. There's not a worst, but... Out of the original trilogy? No, out of there, one, no, two, out there all, are yeah. all, si- all, um, all seven. I would films. say Attack of the Clones. I would say Menace is my, the worst. Think, Attack of the Clones had a lot of big, cool lightsaber it, battles, and Menace did not. It, it, and plus, it, Jar Jar Binks was in the it whole did. Menace movie. And it, it, it's, yeah, I mean, I think I think Phantom Menace, Phantom Menace, kind of sets the stage for everything, you know, which, but in a terrible way. It, well, Phantom, I don't, Phantom I don't Menace think in a terrible is way. like Force Awakens. We had been gone so long before having a Star right. Wars film that when For, when Phantom Menace came out, we were we were so giddy to see Jedi's and see anything with Star Wars and see a crawl. Right. That, but 
See, I think I think Force Awakens. I mean, uh, what do you call it? The Phantom Menace. I thought it was, I thought it was a great movie, and I I still thoroughly enjoy it. The mm. lightsaber battles were mm. tremendous. The whole Dark. If you remove Jar Jar, if you remove cool, Jar Jar, tremendous. From that. It's still bad. It's still bad. Huh. Pod race was bad. <clears throat> Darth Maul was probably the coolest bad. character in I thought that the movie. Pod race, it, pod race is long. Well, it depends. Are you watching the extended? thing because yeah, they long. do like all three um, in the extended so version. So do any of the prequels episodes one, two, or three make your top three? Yeah. No. <gasps> really? Yeah. What What episode one, two, or three? So you're talking about it, it, Attack of the Clones, you're talking about... Yeah, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Revenge, that, Revenge, Revenge of the Sith three? is better than... Yes. Return of the Re- Jedi? No way. No, I think... Yeah. Oh. No. I like Revenge of the, Revenge of the Sith is, is gut-wrenching. I mean, I actually cried in it. What? Yes, because because this is <laughs> these are character these are characters that I love and believe in, and I know his fall is coming, and to see the tragedy that he leaves behind it, I think I think is that was on him though, dude. Yeah, that was on him. That oh, was on him. He completely, had it all too. Completely. He had a beautiful wife, but, the kids coming out. Yeah, yeah, Natalie Portman. Yeah, come on. Yeah, no, I yeah I do, and actually that one that one is probably Jillian's favorite. Actually, hmm. yeah, yeah, I. I so we got to <clears throat> quick wrap this up. <laughs> All right. So, so where does Force Awakens fall within that? Is Force Awakens top three? Is it bottom three? No, it's number seven. It's number seven. See, and you argue with me. No, no, it's number. That it's not a bad film. It's, it's number. It we'll, we'll, it's, we'll come back you to this, this in the next right, segment. Yeah, we'll come back to this next. We'll to. take a quick break. We'll come back and talk Star Wars and VIP wrestling. Return of the Jedi. The Rancor monster has trapped Luke Skywalker. Can he escape the Rancor's claws as the Rancor Keeper and Gamorrean Guard look on? Luke's only chance is a stake in the monster's jaw. Will he succeed or fall victim? Only you can decide with Star Wars toys. And we're back um, to finish up of some of the Star Wars rankings, Matt. Where where do you lie? Well, yeah, it's not so much a ranking, but I've come in here and I've repeatedly said that Force Awakens, after watching it again, it's not a good movie. It's not at all. I disagree. And but then you've always I argued with you argue with me, but then you make it of the seven movies, you make it the worst of the seven. I I didn't say it was the worst of the seven. I said it's number seven. But if you're ranking them from best to worst, and it's number seven, it's the worst. It, no, not really. <laughs> I'm so no, confused. No, right now. This I'm is confused. over. Uh, because because in the back Knock of my head, camera. because in the <laughs> because so, it, so if you've got things that are three different heights and this is the shortest, you're like, well, it's the shortest, but it's I not still, necessarily I, the shortest. I'm still not gonna say. I'm still not gonna say it's the worst. I'm saying it's number seven. You did seven. say it's the worst. No. If it's seven. He he no. likes it. It's just at the bottom of the pole. It's and your least favorite of the seven. It's no. <laughs> then why, I don't, I don't think it is. What's going on? I still, I still okay. Think, I still, so what's your least favorite of the I seven? I think the least favorite is probably Attack of the Clones. So Force Awakens is six. Yes, but I still, I still keep them. I still keep them in, in, in the we're, order. We're, I don't know. We're oh. There's what, I, probably, probably because in, in my head, there's still, I can't say anything is worse about Star Wars because the worst Star Wars stuff is still better than, or. We still, have still, better, still better than anything else out there. Star Wars is like saying? pizza. When it's good, it's really good. When it's bad, it's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think no, we can I can't all argue agree. that, but you have, to, you have to sit down if you had seven films to watch. <laughs> you're going to pick an order, and that's going to be the last one I'm going to watch. Out of, out of the original, out of the, 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 the six movies, the, the original saga, what, what is the one that you have watched the most, and a what is hope. the one that you have watched the least? Uh, Revenge of the Sith. Okay. New Hope, I, I'll watch... If I'm going to yeah. watch, I always watch New Hope, and I've I've watched Revenge of the Sith twice, maybe. Mm. Attack of the Clones, close to that. It's They're so body bad. Equal. All body three equal. of those are so bad. Yeah. Nah. I think nah. we can all agree that Empire is the best. Yeah. In either Attack of the Clones or Phantom Menace is the worst. Phantom Menace is the worst. Minus Curly, who says Force Awakens is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. He said it. You said it. Seven out of seven. You said it. <laughs> We have it on tape. So yeah, if you would like to let us know if you have a favorite or worst Star Wars movie, please let us know in the comments section yeah. of our video. Just let us know, and we'll we'll talk about it. 